guys, AG for All Ages here, and I'm here to open Blair's entire collection. So, Happy New Year, guys, and welcome Blair Wilson to the Girl of the Year line. Um, I'm super, super blessed and excited that American Girl sent me this half of her collection. Um, everything else on this side, plus her big ticket item, I picked up on the 1st of January at uh, American Girl Los Angeles. So, super excited to open it all up for you. Some stuff I just couldn't wait and it's already been on my Blair, who I renamed Scout. Um, and I want to show you guys all the little things, uh, some details, and of course, my very strong opinion about all the different things. So let's get started. Starting with Miss Blair Wilson herself. She is a redhead with the uh, 78 light skin uh, Josefina face mold with a greenish gray eye color. The eye color has been said to be the new green for the CYO line. Um, honestly, I'm not sure. I think it's just the style of the new eyes that make it look this color. It could also just be a brand new eye color. Uh, it's not been confirmed or like denied either way. Um, this beautiful, beautiful doll comes in her amazing bee dress. Uh, it comes with a little flower in her hair and a yellow bracelet. We're not exactly sure what the yellow bracelet signifies, but a lot of us have been saying um, it is for Bella, which I think is incredible and very, very sweet. If we pan down a little bit, we can see her really cute purple shoes, which kind of remind me of Julie. Um, I love these shoes. I think they're absolutely adorable. And I think they go better with a different outfit I will be showing you later in Blair's collection. Uh, but her meat outfit is probably one of the cutest I've seen for any doll uh, in the Girl of the Year line. It is awesome. Next, I will be showing you guys her farm animals. They are a lamb, which is named Penny in the story. I'm not sure if I'm going to be renaming her but uh, it's super, super soft and really, really cute. It has a similar flower accent to its little collar, like Blair's uh, flower accent in her hair. And the little pig, the little piglet, it hasn't uh, come up in her stories yet, so I'm not sure if it has an official name in her books, but I've renamed it Brownie. Um, but yeah, these little animals are so cute. I did not know if I was going to pick up their animals, but Honestly, that pig is so cute, and I super, super recommend him, her, the pig, <laughs> because, yeah, it's so, so cute, so sweet, and it's really, really tiny. Um, yeah, it's a cutie. I highly recommend. Next, I will be showing you guys her four super cute little outfits, um, including her pajamas, and let's start with the bridesmaid or junior bridesmaid outfit in the back. So we have that outfit, it's a blue dress. It has pink uh, and light blue sequins on it. Uh, a velvet choker. Here, I'll show you guys the choker. The choker is literally my favorite part of the set. It is uh, off pink, like light pink. Off pink, is that a thing? I don't know. But it's like a light pink color and it's way, way cute. Uh, it is like a velvety soft feeling and I absolutely adore that. Um, we have her headband piece, which is also incredibly cute, sparkly, and these shoes, which are, uh, oh my gosh, these are probably my favorite part too. Uh, this outfit's really, really cute. I love all the little pieces. The dress isn't exactly my style, but it's also really, really cute because it's high-low um, for the design of the dress, and I think that's like really, really cute. Um, next, I'm going to show you guys the pajama set. We're going to start with the little pom-pom shoes. The pom-pom shoes are very much like um, Mary Ellen's, not Mary Ellen's, Melody's, that have little pom-poms in the front, and I think it's so adorable. It's very Tinkerbell. Um, my only complaint is that, like, I hate long tags. I don't know about you, but, like, the animals have super long tags, and I hate when shoes have super long tags. So that's my biggest complaint. But these shoes are, like, absolutely adorable. Then we have the shirt and the shorts. Shorts uh, are absolutely adorable. I think they're my favorite part of the pajamas. And the shirt says, let your mind bloom. And I love that. Someone posted a picture on Instagram saying that this part, the little fabric design on top of it, 
um, looks kind of like melted and that it was uh, easily damaged. Uh, I'm not sure, mine still looks like really great. So hopefully that holds up for quality. But in terms of other parts of the quality, honestly, the fabric is great. It's super soft. Um, it seems like really well made. So I really like this set too. Next, I'm gonna show you guys the pink and purple outfit in the back with little orange accents. So that outfit has a orange headband that's really reminiscent of the Truly Me headband. Orange shoes that are Nenea's style, but they're like orange, which is really cute. I love the clear ba uh, band in the back. It really helps uh, keep them on and it just is really basically invisible uh, when it's on their feet. The pink part of the dress, this is like absolutely adorable. Um, I love the little bows on it. I love this outfit. A lot of people don't like this outfit and I'm really kind of surprised by it. Uh, I think it's really cute and it's a very specific style like this. Maybe I like it because this is like very princess style to have in the front, like the flowers or the bows down the center. Very princessy. And of course the purple leggings. Um, I think my only complaint about this outfit is that it does not look good on dark skin dolls. Like I put it on Minnie Kristen and I honestly don't think it looks good. She looks very washed out in it and I think that's my biggest complaint. Um, and last but definitely not least, everyone's favorite outfit, definitely my favorite outfit, Blair's gardening outfit. And we're going to look at her wellies basically, her rain boots or work boots. They're, su they're super, super cute, especially if you want to take a picture of her with a welly wisher. They are like perfect so they can match wellies and things. The other choker, which I absolutely adore, it has a little bow on it. It's perfect. So cute. The little overalls, which everybody loves. It has like carnations or roses. I'm not sure if they're carnations or roses. I can't tell. Um, and then, of course, the little clasps little pocket and then the top a lot of people thought this is a crop top it is not a crop top but it's still absolutely adorable I love the stretchiness of the fabric it does have a velcro all the way down the center and it looks great on them it really is super cute I think my only complaint about this outfit is that um, the overalls are kind of big so when it hangs on their bodies you can kind of see um, their underwear line it's kind of visible um, but yeah, the outfit's still absolutely adorable. It's still my favorite outfit, so I still highly, highly recommend it. But yes, it does, like, quote-unquote, run a little big uh, on the dolls, but still, absolutely, absolutely adorable. And that's her clothing, so let's move on. Moving on to her accessories, we have her actual accessories right here and her gardening accessories right there. Um, so let's show you guys the accessories that she has. She has a party planning little guest list notepad that has like a whole bunch of different little pages to plan parties and things. She has four sides for her tablet. So we have a lamb, the Pleasant View Farms page, basically Pinterest <laughs> and recipes which is really really cute and perfect for her we have of course the tablet which um, can have the little sides can slide right in and I believe the little stylus comes out her bag which I think is my favorite part of the set it says homegrown and it has a little flower bouquet on top or in the middle Her lilac flowers. The little pen. The pen is the exact print of her little um, pink and purple kind of play outfit. The dress it has the same pattern on it, which is like a really nice touch. The cap does not come off. Oh wait, oh my gosh, it does. Oh my gosh, guys, that was a discovery. And it's not a pen, it's a like, Oh my gosh, what is this called? It's like a, it is a pen, but I forgot what it's called right now. It's like a fancy pen. So it's not a calligraphy pen. I guess it kind of is. So it's a calligraphy pen. Let's just say that. But that's really, really cool and very fancy American Girl. So this just became my favorite little piece in her accessories. 
Then we have a little farmer's market for Manhattan, like kind of grocery shopping list. There's a bunch of stuff on it. This says Pleasant View Farms on it. Her clipboard, which has the American Girl star on it, which I think is a, like such a nice touch. I love that. And four sticker sheets. Lots of things. You can decorate her tablet. You can decorate her uh, clipboard with these. Such great little details. And for her gardening accessories, we have the hat, which has an adorable black bow on it. Her work gloves, which are mittens because, you know, their fingers don't come apart. So little work mittens. And the adorable apron, which has flowers on it and two pink pockets. Super cute. And those are all her accessories, so let's move on. Next, we have Blair's small ticket item, which is like the smallest big piece she gets. And this is her Pleasant View Farms gardening set. It's her little garden. It has so many little pieces in it, but this is such a hot item because it has her silky chicken dandelion in it. Um, I have, there's so many little pieces in it. I haven't even opened it up yet. Um, but I highly recommend it because I have seen the chicken inside and it's very, very cute. Um, there's, like I said, lots of little pieces for it and I know it retails for $50. So far, I think it's absolutely worth it after seeing it in the LA store, but definitely check it out for yourself. Next, we have Blair's medium ticket item, which is like medium sized thing that comes in her collection. And it's a really cute little white archway that comes with a nice lavender drape that goes all the way through. It's really simple to set up um, and it comes with a lot of little pieces. And those pieces include the three tier cake with two slices that can be taken out of it. It does not need to constantly be three tiers. Uh, each uh, little tier of cake has a hole in it so you can put in all the little fun signs they have which includes this one which says congratulations on it yeah uh, this one says congratulations which I guess I can't really focus on it that's fine but it says congratulations on it and it's super cute and we have the heart one which I think is my favorite one it's like a little golden heart and it can go inside and the one that we have on top that says true love it comes with two plates that both say love on them and they're plastic a little wishes notepad which I believe you can it says wishes on it and you can write little love notes or well wishes to the bride and groom two forks that are I love their silverware their silverware is always such great quality a little server for the cake. These are the little decorations that go on the inside of the archway. They open up and they're like little fan decorating pom-poms. You can see them kind of inside there, but I'm not opening them up quite yet. I will be using this set for parts of Ovation, so I don't want to mess anything up. So I'm going to leave those inside there. We also have the really super cute uh, flowers and vase. I love this vase. It's really pretty and I kind of wish I had one of this like myself. So yeah, then it has the vase. Of course, it comes with the table as well. The little drapey that goes around the table, the tablecloth, I suppose. The golden bow, which is velcroed in the back and the table, which is white underneath and a silver uh, stand. The drape was honestly, it's not hard to put on, but honestly, I'm not incredibly talented in doing stuff like that. So that's me as a party decorator setting all that up. Um, so you might want to have an adult set that up. I don't know if you recommend that. Uh, but this has a whole set. I really think it's really cute and has many photo opportunities. So I can't wait to take photos with this set and use it for ovation. It's going to be used in a dance scene. So that's really fun. Uh, and there's lots of play possibilities with this. So I highly recommend this set. And last but certainly not least is her big ticket item, which is Blair's Family Farm Restaurant uh, and Inn, which is so, so cute. Um, it comes with so many different pieces that I probably couldn't tell you all of them right now. But I think my favorite parts about it are the little bell, 
um, all the string lights, and of course all the food items, the menus, there's so many things in this set. Uh, the table is probably the best quality item out of the whole collection. Uh, the piece is plastic, but I still think it holds up really well. The big uh, farm part of it and kitchen part does is really sturdy. This part I think is a little less sturdy and requires you to like really hold on to it when you're lifting and moving it about. Um, the table on, or the floorboard is flippable. I prefer it on the wood side, but there is uh, grass on the other side, which is really cute if you want to do an outdoor setting. Uh, and like I said, this little cart has a lot of the food on it. I was setting up with little play to uh, food sets for the table, so it looks really nice, little display set. Um, and a lot of the food is very detailed, and there's so many different kinds of food that I don't normally eat. My personal favorite is the salmon, because I love seafood, um, but there's so many different food items involved. Uh, there's pots, there's pans, there's a lot of pieces that are reminiscent of the Truly Me kitchen. The little bench like tables so or seats for the table i kind of wish these were actual like four set chairs but the benches are different and unique and i really love that too so i definitely recommend this whole piece i think it's really great um i was anticipating on it being 350 it is 300 for the whole set um and yeah i think it's super cute i think one of the coolest little details about it is the picture frames on the side are actually connected on both sides here and uh, you can slide in four different photos for it and I think that's absolutely awesome. So this whole set's super cool. Uh, I don't know exactly what I'm using the whole thing for but so many of the little pieces and the kitchen sets and things like that will be used in Ovation as well. So there's so much play possibility and so much uh, photo opportunities for this set so I recommend it for that kind of things. Um, if you're not really wanting to spend the super big like 300 on it, it's a lot. Um, keep looking out for those 20% off coupons. You can find them inside a lot of the catalogs. A pro tip about finding the 20% off coupon. Have a family friend who does not get American Girl request a catalog. They might end up with a 20% off coupon because it's supposed to get new customers to buy American Girl. So that's my pro tip. My best friend, he gets them and he gets the 20% off coupon. So I highly recommend doing that. I also recommend if you're a military person using the 15% off discount to get the to get this object or get this item. I used my 15% off to get this, so it really helps. Um, I got like $70 off when I went to get the whole extra pieces. So those are my tips for getting discounts uh, at American Girl. So good luck guys. I hope you guys enjoy 2019. Happy New Year! Hey guys, to win these two items, I want you guys to comment down below your favorite item in Blair's collection. Right now, mine is her gardening outfit because those wellies are so cute and I absolutely love her choker. Make sure you comment down below what it is and tell me why. Bye guys, happy new year!